Surrounded by woods, the perpetrator begins to sneak up. He thinks he's being sneaky, but what he doesn't realize is that although well-trained human eyes and ears might not realize he's around, canine sense will. This is the backdrop for part of security forces training with their military working dogs, a highly trained and elite group of dogs that know what their job is and how to get it done. Looking for the dog's change of behavior, ears to perk up, notice his attention changing from one direction to another, talking to him, saying, watch him, what do you have, trying to keep his attention focused on what he needs to be doing. The second part of training is designed for dogs to go out to the field to chase down perpetrators. So the sole purpose of this training is for me to be able to release the dog on an individual, say the bad guy, and the dog will bite and hold the person there until I can get up and remove the dog and handcuff the person. Stop fighting, I'll call my dog off. Gotcha. Out, sit. Handlers also walk them through different levels of confrontation so the dogs know Dang. that not everyone is a target. But when the perpetrator wears the padded Dang. suit, anything can happen. Get him, buddies! Oh, get him, buddies! Oh, good boy! The suit is designed to protect the assailant during training, but it also serves the dog, allowing it to attack on any available surface. Staff Sergeant Alana Ingram, Stanta Training Range, United Kingdom.